Hello and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Alone in the Dark. Emily's story is part of our Spooky Saturdays playlist. And last time we made it here to this desert and uh, the the Temple of the Dark Man, I believe it was. We, ooh, bullets. We um, have got our rope so we can descend into the temple. What's this? More bullets, perfect. So let's get up there and get into it. Hopefully, all will be well. Okay, what the hell are those things? Should I? No, they're flying away. That's fine. I need to get down there somehow. I think we can tie off to here. Yes. Okay, you can do this, Emily. Mm-hmm. Certainly can. There we go. Well, here he goes. The dark man, there he is. No, books. Oh, oh. It's oh, the constellation okay. Taurus. The big star is Aldebaran. Something to do with the dark man. Aldebaran. I've seen this in a dream, but as a shallow pit of darkness. This is definitely where the contract is hidden, but how do I get to it? Hmm. Well, guess we have to find a way to open these doors. There we go. Bless it, where's that other one gone? Get it? <sighs> Stinky butts. <sighs> Alright, this is opened now. Let's just, um, is there anything over here? Any of these jars or anything? Boxes? Or... Aha! <sighs> Nothing. God bless it. How ridiculous. All right. Well, let's. Um, what's that? Oh, something throwable, really. Okay. Oh, hello. More bullets, perfect. Um, is that blood? Ugh. Anything else in here? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. All right. Just take a quick peek around. Ah. So that needs the horizon. Lens crafted with unexpected precision and fitted with a telling hieroglyph. Yes. 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 Let's put this in here. Hmm. Do we reckon? Okay. I think this one moves. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. Whole place is crumbly as all oh, Hades. Okay, maybe didn't mean to hit that, but it's fine. In here, no. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. So. Those horrible bug things. All right, let's just take a little peep through here, so we can get to either side. Oh. Go away, you filthy animal! You scab. So we need some more lenses. To 
Oh my god, stop flying around like a lunatic. There we go. That was a pretty good shot, actually. Is there anything else over Ah, there you go. Nothing. Ugh, curse it. Well, never mind, that's fine. Let's wander on down here. So, ah, it worked. Oh, oh missed. Ugh. Horrible little thing. What's this? Nothing. Okay. So, we've opened that side, but let's just have a little peep in here. What's up this way? I think this just leads to the big statue. Yes, it does. Okay. So, let's come down this side. Yeah. Oh, good God. Yeah. It's all crumbling, falling to bits. It's no good. Okay, can we adjust this one? Ah. Needs a lens. Okay, we can get a lens, that's fine. Easy enough. Oh, God! Bloody snakes. Ugh, okay. Hmm. Ah, what have we here? Nothing. An adz. Or an adge. I'm not actually sure how you pronounce it, but never mind. Okay. So we can go... Through there or through there, I think. There we are. Marvellous. Ugh. What's this? Nothing. Good lord. So. Hmm. got a lens in it. The star. Okay. That's that. Brilliant. Okay, so can we bust this door at the end? I think we can. If memory serves me. Yes, we can. Marvellous. All right. Okay, so we need to go back up to there, don't we, actually? Now that I remember correctly. Because I think that's where this goes. I think. Hmm. No, it doesn't go there. Well, must go up here then. The star, maybe? Hmm. There we go. Okay. So. Oh. Oh. Bloody thing. Oh, there you are. Oh. Ow! Get out! You filth! You scum! Good God, I don't like those things. They're weird, weird looking creatures. All right, so, was that already open, that there? Yes, it was. Okay, so. Ah, 
Okay. Right. Well, that's one. I think we need to... Ah, do we maybe get that from there now? I think so. Have we been in there? I don't think we have yet. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ugh. Good God. Blech. Gross. All right. Blech. Wretched things. Do you know what? We did it. We did it. We did it. It's fine. Okay. We're busting in. It was kind of echoey, wasn't it? Oof. Weird. All right. So this is obviously the room where the light is. Well, where the seal is, maybe. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll pick up one of those, because I don't think our our pickaxe would have lasted a lot longer. Okay. So, set this off. And then turn it. This way. Yes. I think... That comes through here. There you go. There you go. Yep. The underworld. Yes, yeah, another seal. Oh, God. Blech. A little bit of blood. Lovely. Okay. We need to uh, be careful here, purely because... We uh, don't have that many bullets, unfortunately. I think... Is it this side? Yes, it was. Okay, we'll head up. Put this seal in. And then... Um, go from there. I think it's up this way. We can get up. Yep. There you go. No more of them stupid bat things. Blech. Alright. Oh, the whispering's weird. The whispering's very weird. Okay. It's just, um... Health isn't great, but do you know what? It's fine. We need to crack on. Yep. Better had him. Could we go this way? Oh no, we can't go this way. Alright. Just in case, we're armed and ready to blow some heads off. Probably a little bit of a wasted shot, but you know what? Never mind. It's fine. Alright. Another wasted shot. God bless it. Can we go this way. This yes. is ready to collapse. It is M, um, but don't worry. We'll get out. Get out. Ow. Well, let's put pay to that idea. Happening. Yes, what is happening? Good morning.
weird looking knife. Acknowledge psychological trauma, break through the barriers of self-deceit, temper manic behavior. Is this it? Is this the contract? Huh? <sighs> oh god. <sighs> Jeremy. Jeez. How much pain and suffering you could have prevented. Emily? What are you doing? Detective. Uh, how is your investigation going? Well, I still have no clue where Jeremy is, but I think I know why he's hiding. This place is full of lunatics planning to perform some kind of ritual tonight. Oh, God. Well, that sounds ridiculous. Or rather would have just a day ago. It gets worse. I have reason to believe they killed anyone who didn't want to go along with the plan. Detective? Have you encountered any monsters tonight? I just told you, I think they killed people. Beauregard, the author, Perosi, the singer, Mr. Waits, the clerk, Mr. Chance, the gardener, they're all missing. No, I mean, have you fired your gun tonight? Of course not. They wouldn't just kill outsiders like that. It would bring too much attention. But you should keep your eyes open. So you haven't seen anything strange been anywhere else? What are you trying to tell me, Emily? Are you in some kind of danger? Oh. What the hell? Let me drive you back to New Orleans. I think I have enough. You know, at least get the police to take a look at this case. No, I'm fine. Thank you, Detective. Mm. I'll find your uncle, Miss Harwood. Just stay out of trouble. Oh, the rat. Ugh. Okay, well, the dark man's contract. Here we go. So, can we... He must first acknowledge psychological trauma in order to proceed. The lying must stop, so we can break through the barriers of self-deceit. Finally, temper manic behavior. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the hardwood curse. Only the sacrificial dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Yet, doing so would be the doom of Dasetto. Let this curse of mine be a weapon for once. I accept your demands, oh, crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. Hmm, just notice this here. Let's... These symbols, I wonder what they mean. Hmm. Well... We need to get into Dr. Gray's office. We need to clean ourselves up a little bit first, though. Good lord. Hopefully there's some... I don't know. It's getting rough up there. Bloody is. Good lord. Okay, let's have a look. So we need to go to Dr. Gray's office, which is on the ground floor, I believe. The ground... Oh, well, the first floor in the US. It's different in the UK. We call it the ground floor. Um, so Dr. Gray's office there. But how do we get in? Okay, what's happened in here? Um, yeah. This is, this is, this is... Different. Indeed. Okay. Just, just leave the room. Just leave the room. What is going on here? It's black. Oh, this whole place is, is going to 
to hell in a handbasket. What's this? Did we read this? Preparations for St. John's. We must have faith that Jeremy's pact with the Dark Man is a bluff. If we are lucky, our visitors will find him and prove it's all nonsense before night falls. What is true is our attempt to call on her. Too many things have happened for this evening to be in vain. Think of Jack and Cassandra, even Perosi, whose circumstances I can't understand. Grace is a goat without horns. She knows it and will play the role. You must talk to your brother, Batiste. I worry that he will fail us. Mrs. Thompson. Well, that's... that's a new one. Okay. Maybe I should just check in here. I wasn't going to check in here, but maybe I should. Just to be... just to be sure. What? Okay. Oh, rats. Cockroaches. Gross. Okay, so we've been in there. Let's, um... Mosey across... It's what? blocked. Can we not? Can we not? Need a key. Do we have to go in the library? Is that it? <sighs> okay. Well... Guess we've no choice. What's this? Lunacy and the Astarte Artist Colony. Lunacy and the Astarte Artist Colony. A monograph by Yael Klein. In early 1909, the old Derseto plantation outside of New Orleans was turned into an artist's colony. Three famous European artists rented the house and the surrounding land from the owner, the Ledoux family. The colony was chiefly run by Sebastian Cortez, who was playfully dubbed the captain by his collaborators, William Argus and Heinrich Kassel. The colony existed for six years, until one day all twelve members disappeared without a trace. It is widely believed that their disappearance is connected to the disastrous hurricane that passed through on September 29, 1915, but nothing truly supports this claim. What is known is their frequent participation in New Orleans nightlife, their love for hosting parties, and their elaborate contributions to the Mardi Gras parades as the Pirates of Ponchartrin. Accounts of their lifestyle can be found in almost every gossip column. It can effectively be summed up as carefree and bohemian. In late June 1909, the name Astarte first appeared in the newspapers. Cortez said the name came to him as he was painting. There is never any claim to knowing about the ancient Phoenician fertility goddess with the same name before this time. His fellow colonist Heinrich Kassel did know, because he later produced sculptures that show clear references to ancient idols of the goddess. It's impossible to know for sure how this name suddenly made an appearance, but it is interesting because of Derseto's history. Even the name Derseto is the Greek name of a Syrian fertility goddess. In the case of naming the plantation, Derseto was certainly not an accident. We know that Elijah Pickford intended to build a temple for his cult, for he had distributed pamphlets two years prior to the purchase of the land, advertising his intentions. His followers were estimated to be almost a hundred men and women, mostly sailors, maroons, and Cajuns, when the plantation was built. To outsiders, Dorsetto registered as an ordinary slave plantation, which enabled Pickford and his flock to remain hidden for decades. The official story is that the cult lasted until 1862, when the Union Army came and burned down the plantation and scattered all who lived there. Following the Civil War, new people started to congregate in the ruins of Dorsetto to invent a new fertility goddess, the Shub Nigrath. As much as Dorsetto is a particular name to have heard of, it's not entirely uncommon among the learned. Astarte is equally known and could have been subconsciously chosen by well-read artists. Shub Nigorath is, on the other hand, very uncommon. 
almost impossible that anyone in Louisiana would have heard that name. The name is referenced only in rare books like Udnausprechlichen Kulten and the Necronomicon, and is believed to be a bastardization of Arabic words meaning pertaining to the dark young. The few paragraphs printed on the goddess are so upsetting that no one in their right mind would want to build a religion resting on such qualities. The Shub Nigarath cult was hard to get rid of, but it is believed that despite the police jailing and killing several cultists over the years, the main culprit in the cult's demise is the cult itself, which seems to line up with every instance of cult activity on Darseto's grounds. When Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army arrived, he described the people at Derseto as malnourished and maniacal. As much as the army tried to save them, they fought back with fervor, as if nothing was going to stop them from slowly destroying themselves. While the disappearance of the Astarte Artis colony remains a mystery, the recurring motif seems to suggest that their fate involved lunacy and a hunger for self-sacrifice to that fertility goddess with a thousand names. Mm. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Is there anything else here? It's appeared. I think we can go out that way. Okay. It sounds like Grace. So. Oh. Okay, well, let's go outside then. It looks haunting in this light. Hmm. Don't think it's. See if it whispers to us like it whispered to, to Eddie. Doesn't. How strange. How very strange. Maybe it just doesn't whisper to us. Maybe that's it. We're unpopular. Never mind. Good God. Oh! Horrible, horrible weather. We go up now. Through here. Oh, there's a lot of blood on the on the on the wall there. That's kind of weird. Okay. Ooh. Get in, Em. Get in. Oh, awful weather. All right. Well, we've made it over. Let's mosey on into Cassandra's room. Let's see if we can find that note. I'm sure there was a note. Hey, little lady, how's your evening been going? Oh, lovely. Ups and downs, I suppose. <laughs> I hear that. We all live in the life of an elevator operator. Are you all right, sweetie? Do you want to see my mask, miss? I'm making it for St. John's. It's weird looking. Uh, how did you... Is that supposed to be my f Ow! <gasps> what the? You should learn your place, little girl. Why are you acting this way? What did I ever do to you? Grace! Grace! What is wrong with that kid? Ugh. Oh. Well... I mean, what is wrong with this child? Good lord. Hey, Jack in the Box and the Lanyap. Marvellous. Anything else? Creepy kids. Creepy pictures. It's all creepy. God. Uh, oh. Is that a key? That is a key. First floor hall key. I'll just borrow these. Yeah, but just nobody will know. Okay, hello? At least he's breathing. I'll just let him sleep it off. Yeah, that's probably the best option. All right. So, yes, here it is. Look, here it is. Cassandra's last page. Jeremy knew that the only one who could help him now was the guest in room number three. The room seemed to have been empty for so long. 
but that wasn't allowed to be true. The story needed to be different. To include something from the outside, he would bring the guest back to room three and show them what was in that safe. Nine, one, three. But those were not the right numbers. That was the combination for the safe in the clerk's office. Yes, I remember that now. Okay, is there anything else? Any other lineups that have appeared? Yep, we've already had a look at the bottles. That's fine. Okay. Well, I suppose we could head on down to the clerk's office and then open up that safe. Oh, jeez. We've still got to open this, haven't we? Hmm. hmm, there's something missing. There is indeed. All right. Well, let's wander on down to the clerk's office. See what we can find in there. Now, I think the clerk's office is, yes, on this floor through reception. Yes. Okay. So through here. Had to do it. Mr. Waits must have had a spare key to Dr. Gray's office, but where? I don't know the combination. Uh, Wait. 913. What did I do? So. So 9. 1. 3. Hey, here we go. We're in. Dr. Gray's office key. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. The empty room. The last guest in the empty room suffered from severe maladaption. I must write this down, because if I understand the condition sufficiently, it could make me deny this fact at a later date. And there is reason for me to think I may come to suffer the consequences from this dysfunction, as some who came in contact with the guest seem to adopt a new world view in which everything was predetermined but broken. Upon accepting this world view, some memories became unmanageable and later rejected. I do not know what this means. I cannot even remember the fate of the guest. I think they were simply misplaced one day and forgotten. Uh, just like all documents pertaining to this guest, they have all been destroyed or they never existed in the first place. Who wrote this? There has never been a guest in the empty room. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Right. So now we can get into Dr. Gray's office. Which is here. Oh, not that one. That one. Here we are. Yes, Dr. here Grazo. we are indeed. Anything interesting? Now let's see if we can find some answers. Yes. What have we here? Cassandra's things. I have finished tidying up Miss Beauregard's belongings. I will leave it to you to contact her agent and have them collect her things. I found one of Grace's drawings she might want back, along with this key in her room, which I believe you've been looking for, Mrs. Thompson. France. Ah, the key that uh, for the globe. Yes, yes. What have we here? Oh, another key. Stairwell key. Hey, marvellous. Then what's this? Jeremy's treatment. Dearest Dr. Manzetti, I find myself in a losing battle with my patient. As I've disclosed in my previous letter, his delusions have him completely captured. It's bad enough that he is torturing himself with paranoia, but his madness turns out to be quite persuasive to others, effectively laying the ground for mass delusion. I am writing to you in hope that you can give me some guidance. Beyond my ambition to avoid devastating surgery on my patient, I have grown worried about my own defenses. The words of my patient are deranged, yet they often resonate with something primitive within me. I have tried photographing his brain with x-rays. It was surprisingly difficult to get good results. Dark blotches on the plates kept obscuring all details. 
My patient looked at the bad plates and cried out in terror, telling me the dark areas was the shadow of the worm eating him from inside. I could not see anything out of the ordinary. I hope this is a sign that my mind is not as receptive to the madness as I had feared. After further inquiry, my patient described the shadows inside his mind as some kind of chthonic monstrosity that wants to undermine his sanctuary. This is clearly a reference to a place he calls Teroea, a sort of library or convent that works as a psychological haven. With this imaginary haven threatened by this Chthonian, he has now constructed another less pleasant hiding spot. Lately, he has been bringing up a metaphor of a steamboat that has run aground, that he feels like he needs to start the engines and reverse, but he is afraid that the hole in the hull would cause the whole ship to sink. I've been watching him turn this metaphor into reality for the last week. He knows it's made up, but he is doubling down, trying to make it a real memory. I feel certain that this is my chance to break through the barriers of his self-deceit. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Well. What? Oh, we can open this. Hey, there you go. Damn. Okay, mosey on out. Not, not, not a fan of that. Can we go out here now? Ugh, how weird. How weird. What is it with the radios in here? This weird radios doing weird stuff. Okay, um, hmm. Well, we've been to Dr. Gray's office. What about down here? Can we go through here now? Although, Okay. Okay. Let's go and open that globe upstairs first. Just want to know what's in there. If there's anything of any use or ornament to us. Well, that, that helps. Somewhat. I think I have one of Grace's drawings, but I don't think we can do anything with it at this, at this point. All right. Good God. Ugh. I think this is... Is this Ruth's room? No, this is McCarthy's room. Oh. Strange man he is. Very strange indeed. It's all strange, let's be real. Hmm. What's this? A moment of clarity. Sometimes. I think this place makes me worse. That Dossetto might be my grave. A coffin made of ostentatious architecture. A Taj Mahal for the drunken depressed. There's something about Dossetto. Something about Dr. Gray. Like we all pretend that we're here to get better. When in fact we are here to be forgotten. Mm. Yes, indeed. Yes, because he had some of Gracie's things in there, didn't he? What's this? Oh, but... Oh, 
Um, do we maybe? Oh, did we get them? Oh, we didn't. Oh, come on now. There we are. Perfect. Well, how very odd. Strange kettle of fish, you know. Strange kettle of fish indeed. So what's in here? Oh. Okay. Nothing. Ruth, are you there? No, of course not. What's this? War photo. War photo? Oh, we can, okay. What's this? Henry Cassell. Henry Cassell's Z zoetrope. Castle built the zoetrope as an Castle. exercise in animation. He is very interested in moving pictures and has even ordered an aeroscope camera for the colony. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of phantasmagoria he will produce. For now, his zoetrope entertains me greatly. It's not the little man passing his head, while well, quite humorous, it's the spell of that flickering light as it rotates. I swear, it takes me back to my childhood in a most profound way. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So, Ruth's camera. Ah, do we maybe need to find a, a, a lamp to put in it? Well, a light bulb, as most people would call it. A light bulb. It's a lamp. But never mind. Okay. So we need to find that. Hmm. So what else is up here? Oh, yeah. oh, okay. But what's in here then? Ah! We don't have a key. Don't have a key at all. Well? What is going on here? We're back at this bar again. Back in the bar. Hmm. What's this? Some coins and cash. But not much else. Hmm. What's... We've just come from there, haven't we? Oh, God. Getting forgetful. What a strange little spot. More bullets. Perfect. Just what the doctor ordered. Or asked for. <laughs> he didn't really order anything, did he? Dr. Grey. Good Lord. But we will leave it there for today, folks. Next time we'll continue onwards down the stairwell see what other mysteries we can uncover and maybe find a a, a, a bulb for that camera of um, Ruth's. Yes, that would be interesting. I wonder what that's going to unlock. Mm. But until next time, be safe, be good, and do look after yourselves. <laughs>